there was a real emphasis in the five year forward view on moving things from acute to community and primary care. And then we realized actually there's not that much investment outside of uh, traditional clinical roles. So one of the reasons why we started thinking about this is for um, it, it, how can we expect primary care to do more without uh, additional investment and working very closely with um, Health Education England partners and NILA to come up with a good programme that would be very useful for, for practice managers who really are the conduit for, for change in, in primary care. Today has given the participants an opportunity to share their learning and to celebrate it and I think both of those are really important because for them to celebrate what they've done and actually reflect on it and play it back has been really valuable. I was asked to go on to the patient leadership programme about a year ago and it's changed everything about the way that I think about the NHS, the way that I think about my care and also enabling me to influence change within the NHS because I've been given the tools to do that. We can do this, we can be part of this, we can change the way that we deliver patient care. So we are advocating that non-medical interventions, not having to sit in front of a GP or a nurse, can actually make a difference. Well, what I've heard already today is a story of transformation being led from primary care, from the staff within primary care who put patients first, they've recognised the needs of patients. And what I've also heard is the support they need from the system, what we need to do to try and help them realise their, their really ambitious proposals. It's absolutely fantastic. It's quite uplifting to actually have spent a morning listening to the journey that people have been on uh, while they've been on the course. Um, it's great to hear such uh, passionate people really interested in um, improving and doing the best for, for our NHS. I think I was going to take away the, the excitement and enthusiasm from the staff that have been on this. Sometimes we forget that practice managers feel isolated mm -hmm. and they're integral to the NHS. And I was struck not only by their enthusiasm around their own development, but also how they're going to continue to be a support network and support each other in doing those things. Practice managers were able to just talk about opportunities for change, to really get some enthusiasm in it, to really get some drive and some vigour and belief that they can make a difference because they are so critical to the organisation.